What are brain synapses? The human brain is one of the most complex organs in the body. It is responsible for our thoughts, emotions, behavior, and every aspect of our daily lives. The brain is made up of billions of cells, including neurons, which communicate with each other through a complex network of connections known as synapses. These synapses are essential for the proper functioning of the brain, and understanding them is crucial for advancing our knowledge of the brain and treating neurological disorders. So, what are synapses? Simply put, synapses are the connections between neurons. They are the points at which one neuron communicates with another, allowing for the transmission of information throughout the brain. Synapses can be thought of as the junctions or switches that allow for the flow of information between neurons. There are two main types of synapses, chemical and electrical. Chemical synapses are the most common type, and they are the ones that most people think of when they hear the term synapse. Chemical synapses involve the release of chemical messengers called neurotransmitters, which are released by one neuron and bind to receptors on another neuron, triggering a response. Electrical synapses, on the other hand, involve the direct flow of electrical current between neurons, allowing for much faster communication. Chemical synapses are much more common than electrical synapses and are therefore the focus of most research on synapses. When an action potential, or electrical signal, reaches the end of a neuron, it triggers the release of neurotransmitters into the synapse. These neurotransmitters then bind to receptors on the receiving neuron, causing it to either fire its own action potential or preventing it from firing. This process is known as synaptic transmission. One of the most important neurotransmitters involved in synaptic transmission is glutamate. Glutamate is the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain, meaning that it causes neurons to become more likely to fire action potentials. Other neurotransmitters, such as GABA, are inhibitory, meaning that they make neurons less likely to fire action potentials. The balance of excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters is crucial for the proper functioning of the brain. Synapses are not static structures but are instead highly dynamic and constantly changing. The strength of a synapse, or its ability to transmit information, can be altered by a process known as synaptic plasticity. There are two main types of synaptic plasticity, long-term potentiation LTP, and long-term depression LTD. LTP involves the strengthening of a synapse, while LTD involves the weakening of a synapse. Both processes are thought to be important for learning and memory, as they allow for the strengthening or weakening of connections between neurons based on experience. Synaptic plasticity is thought to underlie many neurological disorders, including addiction and depression. In addiction, the repeated use of drugs can lead to long-term potentiation of synapses involved in reward pathways, leading to compulsive drug-seeking behavior. In depression, the weakening of synapses involved in mood regulation may contribute to the symptoms of the disorder. In addition to chemical and electrical synapses, there are also neuromuscular junctions, which are synapses between neurons and muscle cells. At these synapses, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine is released, causing the muscle cell to contract. Disorders of the neuromuscular junction, such as myasthenia gravis, can cause muscle weakness and fatigue. Overall, synapses are essential for the proper functioning of the brain and for our daily lives. They allow for the transmission of information between neurons, and their plasticity allows for learning and memory. Understanding synapses is crucial for advancing our knowledge of the brain and developing treatments for neurological disorders.